wanted to uh, thank Francesca Sala from uh, the Visual Arc uh, people uh, for their assistance with an inquiry recently and I was hoping that as a result of their feedback uh, people might be interested in this little tutorial. One of the problems that I was having previously was every time that I put in a window on a fresh file I wasn't able to save that uh, window type in uh, fresh uh, models when I open them next time. So what I was going to show today was just how we actually solve that situation. So let's assume we're going to put in a new window type. So we right click on the uh, Windows icon or we go to, alternatively, we go to the Visual Arcs pull down menu and we go to Window, Window Styles and we want to create a new style of window. So this time we'll make it a sliding window uh, so sliding new ok click next we'll make it sliding as shown click next it's going to be a rectangular window for the purpose of the exercise the overall width of it is going to be 3 meters its height is going to be about the size of a sliding door 2.1 meters uh, we're going to make the frame width a lot narrower at 30 millimeters. Next, uh, and we're going to add a series of leaves in this time. So uh, I'm just going to go back and check our width. Uh, three meters, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it uh, four leaves. Um, uh, correction, we're going to make it, maybe we'll make it four leaves uh, and we'll make them uh, of individual size. So we unclick the equal widths, we'll make that one uh, say 15% and leaf four 15% of the width and that should leave us with 35% uh, on each one of the other two widths. Okay, click next. Sill will keep as standard. Okay, keep them as custom blocks. And you can see now we're, we're going to end up with a sliding door that has two side lights on either side. Click finish. Okay, and we'll call it sliding new. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put that window in left click on the window icon, select sliding new, uh, we want the height to be the elevation to be zero, there we go so we can see that window in the model view there which is all well and good but if I make up a fresh uh, job for somebody what I was finding was that I had no way of saving that window type, so I was fabricating the windows over and over again. Our solution is this. Two, two solutions were actually offered to me. The first one is if we go to the File, Save As Template tab, we can then save that entire model with its window types and door types and slab types, assuming the same approach, under a, a separate template window. Uh, so every time we open uh, a job, it will come back uh, with that model in place. Now, that's a, a good approach, but I actually thought this was the better one because uh, it, w it allowed us to have a, a, the base styles in place without actually having a model, to build, a model placed on the modeling space to begin with. If we go to the Visual Arcs tab and go down to Styles, Export, Ah, oh, correction, new file, my stand corrected. Um, so we're going to browse. We're going to call it new test. Okay, it'll be in meters. Click next. It asks us what are elements we wish to save. So in this case, we're only going to be saving the window, window styles and we will export that okay 
and here we'll go, we'll put it to the test. I'm going to open a new template, save to that node. Okay, we're just going to click large objects meters. Okay, there's a fresh file open. And I'll just quickly build a wall just by way of reference. Okay. Okay, see, you can sort of see it's just got my standard wall there. shaded okay now what we want to do is import the various elements that we've, that we've had previously so what we're going to do is go to styles import browse and there is the one that we created before new test which was just the windows open click next okay we just want the window styles to be imported click import and now if I click on the window options Windows styles available, you'll see it's got all of the ones from the previous model that were there. So we'll just click on new sliding, which was the window we fabricated before, just to prove it. And where are we? I'll just click on new sliding, there we go. And voila! So the problem is now solved for me, and hopefully it's solved for other people on how we save those various window types that we create on one model so they can be reused in subsequent jobs. Sounded like a simple one but that had me stumped for a, a day or so. I uh, hope this is of help to everyone. Okay, thanks Connie. Bye.